Mike Wolf, a participant on the show American Pickers, has pleaded with viewers to buy products from his new store in the midst of continuous difficulties with the show. This week, the United States Sun reported in an exclusive report that the shop owned by a star of the History Channel has been charging twice as much for antiques that are comparable to those carried in the shop owned by his former co-star Frank Fritz. Now, Mike, who is 59 years old, has marketed his most recent item release with various posts on social media. On Sunday, the reality star uploaded photographs of his most recent creations on his Instagram Stories account in order to share them with his followers. The first photograph depicts a woman clinging onto the side of a four-wheeler as she poses for the camera in front of a picturesque alpine landscape. The model, who remained anonymous, turned her back to the camera so that the back of her olive green t-shirt with long sleeves could be seen. On the front of the jersey was printed the phrase, Antique Archaeology Picker Crew, and the design also included two white racing flags. The woman completed her look by donning a huge white cowgirl hat with her ensemble. This helped to make the ensemble cohesive. The following was written as the caption for Mike's post, new at Antique Archaeology merch. Fans were able to see antique archaeology printed on the front of the shirt thanks to a second shot that showed the identical figure from a front-on position. A third picture of the woman riding away on the four-wheeler while wearing the same top was added by the television personality. Following that, Mike shifted his attention to a new item of goods from his clothing line to Lane's. He uploaded a picture of a man wearing a dark blue long-sleeve shirt that had the words two lanes and a massive mountain sunset emblem printed on the back of the shirt. The star of American Pickers shared the news on Twitter, writing, New American Made at Aunt Lane's merch. In the last photograph, the same male model can be seen donning a beanie from two lanes in a grayish color. A psychic and additional cost. Just a few days after the United States Sun exclusively disclosed that Mike's store had been charging twice as much for comparable products that Frank Fritz also sells, Mike made a strong push to promote some merchandise. This push came during the promotional merchandising campaign. Antique archaeology is owned by the 59-year-old individual with locations in Leclerc, Vawa, and Nashville, Tennessee while Frank Fritz Vines is owned by the 60-year-old individual in Savannah, Illinois. In an exclusive report, the United States Sun disclosed that the prices of Mike's goods are more than twice as high as those of Frank's merchandise. This is because Mike has a history of receiving feedback from customers that his products are priced too high. A historic Coca-Cola sign that is green, red, and yellow is going for a whooping $5,500 according to Mike, who is selling it. An antique sign for Alka-Seltzer can be purchased for $500, while a sign for a barbershop can be purchased for $625. A historic sign advertising Will's Three Castle cigarettes can be purchased from Frank Fritz Vines for the price of $400 while an identical sign advertising Shergain sure feed services would cost consumers $350. The classic slot machine that Frank is selling may be purchased for $750, while the vintage gaming machine that Mike is selling can be purchased for $3,500. A historic scale that may be found at Mike's shop is currently available for purchase for $4,500. Frank's shop carries a variety of scales, with prices ranging from $175 to $250 for each option. While Mike's antique White Eagle statue is available for purchase for $4,500, Frank is selling a historic sculpture of a sprinkler for the price of $150. That's expensive. Customers have been vocal about their dissatisfaction with Mike's products claiming that they are priced excessively high. One patron left the following comment on the Iowa business on Google reviews. I would have happily dropped hundreds of dollars in there if it was something really cool. 
Instead, it was something like three objects that had been picked, ranging in price from $200 to $4,000. A second individual shared their thoughts, saying, was so excited to go to the American Picker store, but disappointed it didn't look like it does on TV at all. The merchandise was expensive, but there was very little parking available. A third patron shared their feedback, stating, Stuff is a little pricey, but there are many interesting items. 